G'day folks, yes, it's Astro 30 here again, back with a different kind of repair video. This is an electronic one. In front of me is a Sony TA AV561 amplifier. Now, it has a problem with the volume control, as most of these usually end up having. If we look at the display and rotate the control up or down, you can see that it's rather erratic. It is a bit jumpy, so yeah, see that it jumps up and down. What that means is the rotary encoder behind here either needs replacing or you can just pull it apart and clean it. So that's going to be the focus of this video. So first thing I'm going to do is remove the top and then remove the front panel. Now surprisingly it's not all that dusty in here. And it, its usual location is sitting up on top of a shelf, um, up real high, so I'm really quite surprised and kind of excited to see that it's clean in here. Anyway, I can't remember offhand, before I can get this front panel off, I have to take this knob off, I think I don't. So along the top you'll find three screws, one on each end and one in the middle there. And you'll also find a screw under each foot at the bottom and one in the middle. So take all those three screws out and the panel should come off. To get this off there's a ribbon cable here which goes to the front panel so you got to pull that out as well. There's also that little connector there on the power switch and there's also another ribbon cable going to the power section of the board I think. Alright there was two uh, zip ties that just go through holes in the chassis here to hold these cables in and this ribbon cable here which goes to the front panel just plugs into a socket down here on the power supply board all right the rotary encoder lives behind here and you want to check the solder joints too to make sure that they're okay and they look all right to me so the knob's going to have to come off the other side and you're going to have to remove all the screws on the circuit board here to pull it up and there's a nut on this side of the rotary encoder which you've got to remove so just pop that out as well now with the screws removed you've got these little plastic tabs that you've got to do that to and one on this side so you can literally just pull the board up now, as long as you've undone everything it should pop out ah there's another little clip here There we go, there it is in our hands. So anyway, to open this rotary encoder, you're going to need a little flat base screwdriver to open this. Uh, these four tabs around the outside circumference of the, well it's not really a circumference, it's a square isn't it? But uh, open those and then you just pull up on the whole assembly and it should separate in two halves. I just carefully bent the tabs out of the way. And if you just gently pull on it, there it is there. Now you've got a rotor on this side which you clean the grease off. You're going to have to repack it with grease obviously otherwise you won't have that smooth control feel. And there are contacts on this part which is one there and there's two here. Now these get dirty from time to time so first I'll just spray it with some RP7. Switch cleaner is better just to clean all the grease and stuff off of it and then just give the ends of those contacts a little bit of a scrape with the end of a screwdriver without bending these be very careful and then it should work better if not as good as it did before with all the old grease removed I can see at the bottom of this rotor here there's a little bit of discoloration I don't know if you can see it but it's a brownie substance I'm going to see if I can scrape that off. That could be the whole problem anyway. Alright, I've cleaned that up as best as I could. I even gave the little fingers in there a little bit of a scrape. Just gently scrape the contacts in here. And I've just realised something that I don't need to repack this with grease because most of the grease is up on the other side of that rotor. So it's still got a nice smooth feel. So I'm just going to assemble it like that. And push those tabs back. 
done, now I can reassemble it back into the front panel and uh, put the panel back on the amplifier and test out the control. Failing cleaning it, well, yeah, replace it. Trying to locate everything. There we go. Push it in so the clips make contact. It's it. Locate that properly. I'm going to stick the nut on it now so it uh, doesn't move around when it's on the bench when I'm screwing it up. Don't have to tighten it too much. Right, now to put all the screws back in it. Now we marry the front panel up to the amplifier and this guy just passes through that hole. Now there's an earthing strap on this top screw here so make sure that goes back on or else uh, you might have an earthing problem. Okay, now it's just a matter of replugging in all the connectors. This one goes into the power switch. This one from the front panel just plugs in down here on the circuit board for the power supply, just like that. See that? Uh, I'm going to cable tie them in back in a minute. I'm just going to verify that the rotor encoder is fixed before tying everything back in. And of course this front panel ribbon control or else nothing's going to work. That just goes straight on the circuit board like that. Don't forget our volume knob. It goes back on like that. Still feels nice and smooth. Now plug it in and see what happens. Okay, moment of truth. See if we fixed it. Well, what do you know? It's fixed. <laughs> Oh, I love it when things work out. So there you go. That's how you fix a rotary encoder without having to replace it. I mean, you've got to pull it apart to do it. This isn't just particular to this model of amplifier. It can work for any amplifier that uses a rotary control for its volume and an encoder behind it. You just pull them apart, clean them, and then put them back together again. And how long will they last like that? No idea. It could last a few months, could last a few weeks, could last years probably last longer than the amplifier now. So anyway, thank you for watching that little repair video. Uh, remember to comment, rate and subscribe down below. And if you've got any questions about this particular repair or any other electronic questions, feel free to ask me. And you can also catch me on Facebook and Twitter at the Astro 30 and drop me a line there if you like. So now I can return this amplifier tomorrow. Thanks for watching.